Good evening YouTube, it's Hannah from Snellish here and I am in a completely different like, I guess, um, angle and stuff because I have a new camera and it's totally different to my old camera, well I say new camera, I have a new phone that has a new camera. So um, I upgraded to Samsung Galaxy 8. Um, I am seriously considering getting an actual vlogging camera though, or like an actual camera for doing these uh, types of videos. But I digress. Today I'm kind of bringing you a um, mini February favourite, a little bit of an update um, because I realise I haven't filmed a proper sit down and talk to you video in a little while. Um, so yeah, um, let's get started. To start off with, I'm going to talk about just a few things um, that I particularly liked in the month of February. Um, also, can I just say, my hair is finally long enough again to do the old space buns, um, it's gonna come out, but when I first got my hair cut, if you don't know the score, I had my hair cut, they didn't do anything that I wanted them to do, I absolutely hate it, and I want it to grow. Um, when I first tried to put it up in the space buns, um, it looked ridiculous. They were so small, they looked ridiculous. Now they're starting to do, you know, they're starting to do their thing again, so I am kinda happy about that. Um, so yeah. The first thing, um, it's a bit of a weird thing to be favourite and I, th I think I've had it for most of February, um, it's the Arbonne Makeup Primer. Um, now I'm not in I'm not so sure how well it controls the oil and stuff and keeps my nose matte, um, I just think I just have a general problem with product coming off my nose, um, not even my T-zone, it's just my nose, um, but I really like how this feels, it's silicone-y. Um, which is what I prefer in a primer. Um, it's really soft. It makes my skin feel velvety soft when I've popped it on. Um, and it does actually help with the application of product. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing I wanted to say. This is about what I had I kind of undenied about whether or not to include this in my video because obviously Arbon you can only get through a representative and I'm not a massive fan of multi-level marketing companies, but I tried it out and it's actually pretty good. The next favourite, it's a bit strange because I haven't actually used it that much when I've done my makeup, but I have been dipping in and out of it and adding it to other things and it's the uh, My Sign Earth palette from Makeup Revolution. Um, I'll be honest, I only got this originally because I am an earth sign, I'm a Taurus and uh, my spirituality video is coming, but I am a, I'm a pretty dyed in the wool Taurus. I think there's lots of things about Taurians that fit me um, and the things that like don't fit me uh, are explained by my earth sign and my ascendant sign. I'm Libra ascendant and my uh, my moon, sorry, my moon is in Leo. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm an earth sign and I really like this because typically earthy colours are also get browns and nudes and greens and while there are a lot of browns and nudes, there's also some really interesting colours like there's lots of golds, there's this really nice burnt orangey almost colour and there's a purpley colour and then there's some nice darky greys so I actually thought you know what I really like those shades um so I'm gonna get it and I do really like it um I generally dip into here uh when I want something else and there's some there's some baked sort of jewelry shades in here there's some shimmers there's some mattes um glittery colours yeah there's a nice combination of different things so yeah another makeup related favourite is an old favourite really. I got it in the summer and I've been re reviving my love for it and that's my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. What colour do I have? I have dark brown. So as you can see I dye my hair quite a vibrant red colour but actually my eyebrows, if you can see them, they're pretty naturally dark. I've always had really dark eyebrows. Um, my hair is naturally quite red anyway but it's, especially if you can see my roots, especially as I've grown older, it's darkened, but my eyebrows have always been dark. So I like this, um, and like most of the Anastasia Browy products, it has a spoolie at one end, um, and then it has, this is the one that has the sort of like more triangular, you can see, ooh, it has the more triangular tip, um, crayon, and it's obviously, you twist it up and stuff. Um, I tried the Brow Wiz, I didn't get on with the Brow Wiz, I found it really like quite hard and it was hard for me to apply, I didn't get the 
the effect I wanted with this. I think, I don't know whether it's a different formula or it's the fact that it's just a bigger sort of crayon. I actually find it's nice and easy to blend. So I draw uh, my brow on and then I'll use the spoolie to also blend it in. Um, and it just gives more of the look that I want. My next favorite, this is kind of a new favorite and I'm just gonna say in general, my favorite for this month, is Sanctuary by Kat Von D. Um, this is the Everlasting Lipstick. Sanctuary is just such a nice colour. It looks, I don't know, it looks a bit different in the tube, I think, to how it looks when it's on the lips, but it's that perfect sort of grey cool-toned, taupey, nudie brown. Um, that is exactly the kind of colour I want to go for in a nude. Um, so I've had the Everlasting Lipstick for a while. I love it. It's, it's pretty much been <laughs> my go-to lipstick. Um, recently I've been wearing Miss Argentina a lot, which is like a really vibrant pinky red. Um, but I also, this is like my go-to, my fallback everyday lipstick colour really. Um, and I like it so much, I went ahead and I got it in the Studded Kiss formula. So this is Sanctuary in the Studded Kiss formula and it's exactly the same colour. It is pretty much exactly the same um, in the Studded Kiss as it is in the Everlasting lipstick. I wasn't sure how I was going to like her studded kiss formula because she's reformulated it um it's now called the studded kiss creme or studded kiss cream and it's a creamier format um i didn't actually hate the old formula of the studded kisses so i was a little bit like mm, i didn't know how i was going to find the reformulation because obviously when they reformulate things it changes and especially if you liked a product anyway it can be quite difficult but i really like i like this one at least um, and I bought a new, uh, the other new shade I bought, or, well, it is a new shade to Studded Kiss formula, but it's in the new formula anyway, is uh, Nosferatu. Um, and that's, that's another of my favourite Everlasting Lipstick shades. So I bought it in Studded Kiss, and I really like it. So um, I'm looking forward to trying some more of them. I want to see if they've reformulated Coven massively, if that's different. Um, I've got a sample, like a little mini of, because um, my, as you've seen in my What I Got For Christmas video, I got the uh, Rock Candy set, gift set, which has got lots of mini lipsticks, and I think they've all become permanent, so there's a couple of those shades I want to get. Um, but yeah, Kat Von D Studded Kiss lipsticks are my new obsession. Um, I was really sad when I had to move away from MAC, because obviously MAC tests on animals, and Kat Von D, not only does she not test, but most of her products, if not all of them now, are vegan, and that was part of the point that she wanted to reformulate everything. Um, so yeah. I just, I love her lipsticks. I'm a fangirl, I don't even care. I love Tattoo Liner, I love Lolita, I love her eyeshadows, I only have the Metal Matte palette, but it's brilliant, and I love her lipsticks, so. What are you gonna do? Shout out, now, I haven't really used this enough this month to call it a favorite, but I really wanted to use it. On my lips now, I am wearing Pan 9, which, again, is a Kat Von D, as you can tell from the packaging, it's a Kat Von D Study Kiss lipstick, um, and it's just this amazing green colour. Um, and as someone with blue eyes and red hair, I think green looks amazing on me, and green is one of my favourite colours anyway. But I lined and filled in my lips first with this, which is again, Kat Von D, so sue me. I know what I like, and it's one of her everlasting lip liners. Um, and this is in the shade Lemmy which is a green and it goes with pan 9 but also you can wear these as eyeliners now if I get close I don't know if you can see but I've got like a green line on the waterline that's let me and I really like doing that if I've got um, for example yesterday I went to see the parents more on that later um, I did quite a neutral eye and then I just did a line of the green and it looked really good and I just think it looks it's good if I want to be a more sort of laid back look but then just inject a little bit of something with the green liner um, and it's eye safe all of her everlasting liners are eye safe um, which I think is awesome because I got my eye on red liner purple liner or the old eyes the old peepers so yes um I think I'm gonna say one more thing in this video and then I'm gonna do the general update in the next I'm gonna split it into two parts so this isn't too long um, I've decided I can't because I don't wear makeup to work there's no real point in me doing like a project pan or anything but I've decided there are a few things in my makeup I say makeup collection but I've really downsized recently so there's a few things in my makeup shebang I don't know what to, in my drawer 
um, that I don't really use and I love them and I don't know why I don't use them. So I've decided I'm going to try and use different things specifically. And the first thing I'm going to try and use during March is my Urban Decay Vice Palette. So this is, I don't know what this one is. Is it, is it Vice 4? Oh, I don't know. So it's whichever one, this is a Vice Palette and it's the one which has the really cool like 3D lid. Um, if I open it up, it is absolutely gorgeous. You see that? Oh, you like the camera, sorry. It's absolutely gorgeous but I've barely touched it. Um, I used a little bit of it today just to like touch up my eyeshadow that I did earlier. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful and I spent quite a lot of money on it and was it a present? I think it was even a birthday present. And I just don't, I just don't use it. Um, and I don't know why, especially now that I'm experimenting more with color. I mean, it's got these beautiful, it's got three beautiful greens. It's got a really nice orangey color. It's got such a gorgeous pink purple so yeah I just I need to use this one um so that's my first one and I might even add this one to the mix see if I can use them both in tandem but there's there's lots of eyeshadow that I don't use basically I'm stuck in a bit of a rut and I only ever use my neutrals versus neutrals palette or my dead or alive palette and maybe either of my naked palettes I mean I hadn't used my naked palettes in ages um and I took my naked two yesterday with me and I did my makeup to go and meet Pete's parents with my Naked 2 and when we went away to the Lake District I took my Naked Smoky just to like force myself to use them. So yeah, I'm going to try and use that palette whenever I do my makeup and I'll try and do some more makeup experimentation during the week. Obviously being a teacher it is quite difficult but yeah. So that is like the favourites part of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what was your favourite thing of this month and have you used any of the products that I mentioned in my favourites. Um, if you have, what do you think of them? And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like um, and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. I, I try to do a fairly regular updating schedule. Um, I at least have a vlog up most weekends. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.